I recently learned that most airplanes come equipped with what's called an ADS-B transmitter. This is like a radio that sends out certain information about the airplane, like the flight number, what kind of plane it is, and in some cases even the GPS coordinates and altitude and other positional information about the plane. It turns out that none of this information is actually encrypted or secured in any way. It's an open protocol, and anyone can learn how to decode it. So all you really need is a radio that can pick up the right frequency and software that can listen to the signals over the air and turn it back into information. And as it turns out, you can get one of these radios for under $30 on the internet and you can get software to decode the information for free. So I want to learn how to do this so that I can track all the planes that fly over my house without having to use the internet. And then I want to show you how you can do it at home too. So let's get started. The heart of this project is this USB radio receiver. This device is designed to pick up European television frequencies, but some clever hackers discovered that with their own software, they could pick up a much wider range of frequencies and use this thing for a lot of different purposes. It comes with this little magnetic antenna. It works, but not very well for my purposes. Instead, I use this mag mount antenna. This is a dual band, two meters, 70 centimeters antenna. It's also not designed for the frequencies that I'm using it for, but I find that it works a little bit better than the one the radio came with. My larger antenna comes with this much larger plug, so I had to build an adapter. First I found this adapter that plugs into the radio. The other end of the adapter allows me to plug in a standard F connector. This is similar to what you use for your cable television. Then I made this little monstrosity. You can see it's just an F connector on a piece of coax, and then that connects to the other connector I need. Just make sure the ground's connected to ground, and the signal's connected to signal. It screws right in place, and fits just right. And there you have it. It's not pretty, but it works. Now all I have to do is plug in the radio and the antenna. You're going to need three pieces of software for this project. One is the custom driver. You install this with a program called Zadig. Run the Zadig program, and then make sure you tell it to list all devices. My device shows up on my computer as this RTL device. In some cases, it may say something different. It really depends on your device. Choose your device, and then make sure it says Win USB on the right side of the green arrow. Then click the Install Driver button. In a few seconds, it'll be installed. Next we'll install ADS B Sharp. This is a program that actually tunes the radio to the proper frequency and decodes the ADS B signals. Run the install.bat file, and it'll download all the latest files. That's really all you have to do to install it run the program it should pop right up. We'll configure all this in a little bit. Finally we'll install ADS-B Scope. This software will actually take the data from ADS-B Sharp and plot it in a way that's readable for humans. Navigate through this long directory structure and start up the program. You can see the map screen on the left and on the right is where the actual raw data will populate. First we need to set our location. So go to navigation and go to town or airport. Then either select your town or your airport. I'll enter in my town. And then click set receiver location. That'll change this to be the default setting for the future. Now we need to set up the network, so switch back to ADS-B Sharp. And you can leave most of the defaults here. If you have problems, you can play with these settings later, but I find that these default settings work fine. So go ahead and click the start button. Then if your firewall pops up, make sure you allow it. Now back in ADS-B scope, go to other, network, network setup. There's a handy little button down here for ADS-B sharp. This should load most of the proper settings for ADS-B sharp. Just make sure you click the local button. Then go ahead and close it. Now if you click the connect button, 
you should see that the client's connected. To manually test ADS B Sharp, tell that to your local host on the ADS B Sharp port. You should see a bunch of data streaming like this. This is all the raw data it's picking up from the radio. If you see this, it's working. I don't get a ton of air traffic over my house, so I left this running for a few hours. I also increased the map size to make it more visible. You can see here there are two planes moving in opposite directions. These planes actually flew over my house and I picked up the radio signals directly from the plane. There was no internet involved here. If you click on one of the planes, you can see most of the information about that flight. Anything that your radio picked up, you can see. You can also zoom out or zoom in as needed. If I switch to the table view, I can see all the data for the flights that flew overhead in the last 24 hours. Not all of them contain position information, but many do. Anything without positioning information will not show up on the map. So that's a really simple, inexpensive way to track airplanes overhead. What I really love about this method is that it doesn't involve the internet. If your internet connection goes completely offline, you can still track these planes directly. I mean, you're picking up the signals directly from the plane. On the other hand, it's a little bit scary knowing that this data is out there unencrypted and unsecured. I mean, what if an attacker decided to transmit their own location and pretend they were an airplane that didn't really exist? I imagine that would confuse some people in the airline industry. Although, I would also have to imagine they'd have some kind of fail-safe, some kind of protection against this thing. I guess we'll just hope they do. But until then, please use these forces for good and not evil. And if you like this video, please like or subscribe to let me know.